Good morning, everyone. How's everybody doing today? I hope everybody is recovered from the weekend and uh, hopefully this Monday is treating you well. So before I begin, um, I want to send a special shout out to uh, Maza from Fortran Express. He had me uh, co-host with him last night on his live stream. And uh, it was it was a fun live stream. It was it was a great conversation. You know, we were on there for almost two hours, and uh, you know, th there was a lot of things that we that we talked about. So, if you haven't yet, uh, go check them out. Go watch go watch the live the live stream that he had yesterday. Uh, if you haven't yet, subscribe to his channel. You know, he puts out great baseball content. Um, and I, I would also ask if you can subscribe to my channel. It would be greatly appreciated because um, I want to give you uh, good baseball news and good things to to you know to look forward to. And I always like to hear your thoughts and opinions. So if you guys can subscribe to my channel, it, it would greatly be appreciated. So a few things to talk about. All right. Um, so yesterday, there was a report that came out by uh, Ken Rosenthal saying that the Yankees and Dodgers made a trade. So according to the reports, the Dodgers were going to trade two players from their 40-man roster to the Yankees in exchange for one of the players from the Yankees. Who those players are, we don't know. And we've been waiting for reports to come out um, since yesterday. No names have been mentioned. Apparently, they, it was stuck in the medical stage. And usually medicals don't take this long. But for some reason, it, it's it's taken long. I And again, I don't know why. And... The players that are being traded or that were discussed, we have no idea who those names are. And I even checked this morning to see if uh, there were any names discussed and there was still nothing yet. So we're still waiting on that. So it, I don't want to say there's conflicting reports, but uh, there's information that's not you know being shared with us. All right. Uh, next piece of news <clears throat> is uh, the, the Toronto Blue Jays and Shohei Otani. So when I was on Mazda's live, live stream last night, um, Jason from 161 River Ave also jumped in and he gave us a piece of news. He dropped some news while we were on the live stream. And the Blue Jays made a lucrative offer to Shohei Otani. The the deal was almost they almost signed Shohei Otani. You know, said so they had a they had a they had a incredible opportunity to do so, but um the Dodgers upped the offer. So reportedly the the Blue Jays were gonna offer uh Shohei Otani between six hundred fifty to six hundred seventy five million dollars. So they were ready to spend, you know, so they were, they were, they were ready to spend, but as you know, the Dodgers up that offer to 700 million. So ultimately he, the Dodgers offered more money clearly, and that's where he went. Even though I feel that at the end of the day, I think that's where Shohei Otani wanted to end up. And he has mentioned that he does like California. He does like L.A. So, but the Blue Jays almost got away with signing him. But, again, the Dodgers topped that, you know, they, they topped that offer. They countered with $700 million. And that, which, to me, if you saw my video a couple of days ago about the whole Shohei Otani thing, it, it's... Uh, uh, the one of the biggest offers ever made. Um, it's bigger than what Lionel Messi got paid. 
And Lionel Messi is a international soccer player who's very well known. And Shoyo Tani uh, beat his record. So I don't know about you. I'm I'm still trying to wrap my brain around it. That is a lot of money for um, for a baseball player. So, uh, but the Dodgers made it happen. Uh, big news in the in Yankees world. So today is the day. All right, today is the day. Yashinobu Yamamoto is meeting with the Yankees today. Um. This is going to be huge, you know, based on a lot of the things I read about Yamamoto, it sounds like, you know, things are pointing in the right direction for the Yankees and the Yankees are the team that have the greatest chance to sign Yoshinobu Yamamoto. I like, I like their chances and I said it on Maz's live stream last night. They, for me, I think 99% that he signs with the Yankees. Uh, he'll meet with the Yankees today, and, and he'll meet with the other teams that he set up meetings with, you know, just out of formality. Then my prediction is that he will, he'll make a decision. You know, he will have to make a decision. He has till January 4th, but I don't think he's going to wait that long. I think he will make his decision by the end of the week. You know, so I'm 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 thinking uh by Friday or Saturday, I think he'll make a decision as to who he wants to play for. You know, so with the meeting going on today, Hal is going to be there, Hal Steinbrenner will be there. There were reports that uh, Masahiro Tanaka and Hideki Matsui were going to be at the meetings as well, but apparently some reports came out saying that they weren't going to be there. But uh, Matsui and Tanaka had talked to him previously about uh, Yamamoto playing or signing with the Yankees. So uh, there, there is that. And the Yankees do have the Japanese executive, so uh, he'll that'll that'll be a huge help with him being there as well. So, you know, things are I'd say things are looking good for the Yankees, but of course, Yamamoto will meet with the other teams as well, Mets being one of them. So it might come down to a battle of New York. All right. But the Yankees are serious about this guy. They're serious about Yamamoto. You know, I I did hear that he that there were there were scouts, Yankee scouts, Yankees front office people, you know that that were at his games this past season. They were at every one of his games, and the last I don't remember the last time the Yankees ever did something like this. But when you send your people out overseas to go watch a specific player, that tells me that, that that team is serious about wanting to sign this player. You know, and I'm sure Yamamoto appreciates it because they're, you know, this this team, a team like the Yankees is showing they're showing interest in him. And they they've given him the time and and the respect, and so he, for him that's that's a, that's a big deal, and it, that something like that is very important to him, especially with you know where he comes from. So something to keep in mind, something to keep in mind. Um, I'm excited for this meeting, so you know we'll we'll see what happens with that. And then there was some other baseball news uh, that came out yesterday so you know one of those news was the the marlins acquired christian bentoncourt from the guardians so christian bentoncourt is a catcher and i know the marlins were looking for a catcher and so they did get their man 
And there was a, a couple of other signings that went down as well. I did put out a YouTube short on that yesterday. So if you haven't, please check that out. So there's going to be more news coming out. It's just a matter of when. Um, there's still some names available. So, you know, Cody Bellinger being the big name, uh, he's still available. He's still a free agent. You know, you still have Jordan Montgomery, who's a free agent. Josh Hader is another, you know, big name. So, you know, we'll we'll see. We'll see what happens uh, with those guys. You know, it'll, it'll be interesting. Um, now that Otani's off the board, I could see Bellinger being pursued by the Blue Jays. Uh, that could be a real possibility. He'd be a good fit there. But just joking around last night on, on Maz's live stream, imagine if uh, Bellinger signs with the Yankees. You know, if, if the Yankees just came out of nowhere and signed him as well, it'd be kind of a similar move as to what they did in 09 when they uh, signed Mark Teixeira. And no one expected it, but you never know. You never know. This is off season. This is baseball. You don't know which player is getting traded to what team. You don't know what player is getting signed to what team. You know, it's fun to talk about, you know, especially with all the speculations and the rumors, but I enjoy it. It's, it's a lot of fun. I'll admit the only part I don't enjoy is, you know, when certain things are being held back from us. And it's just, uh, you know, stress levels kind of go up a little bit, especially when reports come out saying that a trade happened. No, it didn't happen. And then we're, we're getting these conflicting reports. But, hey, you know, it keeps us it keeps us in the loop. It keeps us entertained, you know, and it gives us something to talk about. So but that's all I got for you right now. I appreciate you watching this video. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel. It would I would greatly appreciate it. I want to grow this channel. Again, I want to you know share my thoughts and opinions with all of you. I want you to do the same because I want to hear what you have to say. So drop your comments. Tell me what you think. And if other news comes out, I will definitely keep you in the loop. And I will see you all next time.